Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today, we brought the avatar slider widget by Prime Slider into our discussion and we are going to show you everything about it. The avatar slider presents a scenic view with a white background image, post titles, descriptions, thumb slides and a read more button. The navigation panel is basically the thumbs here. Clicking on the arrow or the thumbs will take your user to the next slide. Created to highlight blog landing pages, the avatar slider can be used for delivering product info, featured service info, or portfolio showcases. With the smooth slider animation, you can use it for many purposes. At this point, you have seen the three variations of the avatar slider. All we did was changing the colors, paddings, and shadows to make them look so unique. Alright, let us show you the backend operation so you can learn to use the slider proficiently. On the screen, the widget is already dropped inside the page. On the left side, you will find the layout controls as the first set of options for the slider. Here, the top scroll bar lets you change the maximum height of the slider. Following that, there are four switches to show or hide the title, excerpt, button, and arrows. Also, there is a content max width adjustment right below the title tag selector. A little below, you can adjust the height and width of the thumbs that's floating on the right side of the slider. Then in the slider section below, you can find all the existing slides and an option to add more to the slider. Now clicking on a slide box will unfold the inner controls such as the slide title field, title link, button text, button link, description field, and image field. Let's customize these options and complete making a slide now. Looks good enough, you can continue customizing the rest before proceeding next. Once you are finished, you will see the thumb slides filled with images. Click the arrow to check the slides. Alright, now we can go to the slider settings section. Here you'll find a couple of options regarding the animation of the slider. You can enable autoplay, pause on hover, and grab cursor switchers, or make the slider loop between the slides. Also, adjust the animation speed. Now let's switch to the style tab. From the items section, let's select a background color with low opacity to make the color act as an overlay on the background. Then in the next section, you can increase the border radius to bend the edges of the thumb slides and make them rounder. From the title section, first adjust the spacing between the title text and description for better content visibility. Then you can customize the font by the typography option. Let's change the font family, letter size, and some other adjustments. Next, switch to the text section and change the color of the description text. You can always go for a low opacity color for better color matching. Then customize the typography to get a suitable font settings for the text. After that, let's go to the link button section to start modifying the button appearance. First, we can change the button background color to our liking and match it with the slider background tint. The button text can go white. For hover, we can go for black text color with white button background. If you want, you can use images as the button background. Then let's change the paddings to adjust the shape of the button field. When done, we can still customize the button text through the typography option. After that, we can move to the navigation section and change the color of the arrow background and then change the arrowhead color to white. For hover, we can go with a black arrowhead and white background color. Back into the normal tab. Let's put a solid border around the arrowhead. Then set the border width to 0 and increase the border radius till you make it into a circle. Also, increase the padding to make the arrow field bigger. Make the arrowhead or icon bigger to match the field size. 
Now fold the control panel and take a good look at the finished slider interface. That's how easily you can create stunning sliders with the avatar widget. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for the next tutorial video updates. Stay safe and see you next time.